You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes. Let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Sunny 93.3. Thank you so much for listening to The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. How you doing, man? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Crazy, nutty, little married couple, <laughs> yo. Look at you being all married. Yes. Crazy being kids, all married you know, married stuff. with your arms and legs, and <laughs> living in the same house, uh huh, co-signing stuff together. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. When we were co- we were signing all the papers for the house, I asked if there was a form in there anywhere that I could fill out that blames Heidi for anything that goes wrong. <laughs> you know, and really, that's a valid question. <laughs> there was not. Is there a form I can sign that says anything that's wrong? It was her fault. <laughs> No. That's how it works. So, yeah, it is Friday. And big things going on. Uh, a couple of things to mention here before we get rolling this morning. Uh, this is National Public Gardens Day. Nice. Uh, we've got some of those in Sioux Falls now. Well, there's there's a difference. You have, you know, gardens where you grow stuff as a community. Yeah, community gardens. And also you can consider like McKinnon Park or the oh, Japanese yeah. Garden. Those are public gardens. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. As, yeah. as well, yeah. And they're absolutely beautiful. What you may not know is if you are a property owner... Yeah. In Sioux Falls, you pay property taxes on a home, business, whatever the case may be. Yeah. Those public gardens, the stuff in there, the trees, shrubs, bushes, perennial annuals, whatever, that stuff's free. <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> so, not free. So you, you just go dig it up and say, hey, I paid my taxes. Best to do it after 10 <laughs> p.m. But if you think but, about it, every garden is a public garden. If, if you get a shovel and a flashlight, it's free. <laughs> so, you know, I may have heard heard that some sunday's mother's day who's yes, got a mother i do i do who's got a mom I love my mother all right any any big plans for your mama um you know i don't have any yet okay i should probably make some because it's you know because you know you got a few days yeah i know what i do when i can't get there and, and my mother still resides in in minneapolis yeah uh in fact uh, mother's day and then it's always her birthday the following week that's like oh. every year she never changes it that's <laughs> awesome <laughs> But yeah, I ask her, and it's okay. She's got everything. She turns 85. Oh, nice. Next month, so it's just money. I mean, I'll send some cash if you got some. It's like, what are you doing with all this money, man? It's so hilarious. Well, she's a gun owner. Oh, yeah. But nice. she uses black black rhino hollow point ammo, which oh, is really nice. expensive. It's yes. armor piercing because she likes to make a statement when she goes to the liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> North Minneapolis is So I bundled up a couple of wrinkled 20s, threw them in a card, and uh, we're all good. So happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there uh, early and, and take care of it because you were assigned like a mom. So, you know, it is. that's it's all there is to it. Everybody is giving a mom. Well, coming up here in just a moment, we've got something new, something special, something <laughs> I secret. Go that far. <laughs> it's, it's pretty special. It's on the way. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Do you have a credit card? Is it the very best credit card? Many people get their credit card as a response to an offer that was mailed to you. These are typically not the best cards. Check the fine print for the fees and interest. We have a website that compares many different cards being offered so you can find the one that's the best fit for you. If you'd like to find a better credit card we'd love to help at bettercreditcards.net there's no obligation just click and compare to see if we can get you a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net sunny 93.3 time now for not manly men we're doing something new so this is kind of a sad sad day it is a sad manly day i played this song one last to time manly men are we um, oh, absolutely! The song is classic. That should I just love that should just go. Song. That song should just go into rotation. <laughs> just keep that on, on our playlist. Yeah, just about every hour. Oh, that'd be great, actually. But yeah, eventually you you know things just kind of run out of gas, and I got as manly as I could, and now yeah. frankly I'm exhausted. Well, you are so manly, uh, and it's rubbing off on me. Now I'm so manly. I mean, if we don't change this up, we're going to just get too manly. I know. Suddenly you're like growing hair in places you never had no. hair before. It's crazy. just it's it's insane. Biting the so tops what I off found, of beer bottles. I mean, it's crazy. Until I can uh, find something as epically awesome as as manly men, we're just going to throw out some random fun animal facts, guys. That's awesome. All right. You I'm big excited. fan of animals there, Heidi? Animals, John? Yeah. Okay. I like animals. All right, then. This is super important to know, and I did not know this. Turtles, uh, water-dwelling snakes, crocodiles, alligators, dolphins, whales, and other water-going creatures will drown if you hold them under long enough. No kidding. Yeah. So they, they need to get up and get air. They do. I knew dolphins had to get air. So you can drown a dolphin? 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, haven't you ever done that? No, it's not, it's, I'm, it's not even on my bucket list. And I don't know why, why we're this not is. allowed in SeaWorld. <laughs> I don't want to drown any of them. And I don't know if I heard it in a song or saw it in a movie or something, but for some reason, and I just think it'd be hilarious. Not hard, but I'd kind of like to punch a whale. <laughs> I don't really. I was to be able to say, I punched a whale. I'd like I to punch a shark. I've heard if you punch a shark in the nose, they, it's like a man getting kicked in the nose. That's nether absolutely regions. true, yes. Yeah, I yeah. used to watch Shark Week all yeah, the we time. Yeah, can, we can set that up. Let's I would love that. That would be so cool. <laughs> so yeah, just fun, fun animal facts. You're, you're going to go to SeaWorld so Dan can punch a whale <laughs> and Heidi can punch a shark. <laughs> And I'm going to drown a dolphin, apparently. <laughs> it's not really on my bucket list, but if that's what I have to do. And it is I good would, to have a bucket I list. Would never, I would never drown a dolphin. Just say no. I think that but would I would me. punch a shark. Yeah, I know you would. I'd wrestle a dolphin. <laughs> I mean, just, just for fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be fun. Oh, I think Pete is on the line, so we should probably grab that. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3. Do you need a gift for a silly friend? Weirdgiftoftheday.com has many ideas. Each day, we share a different weird gift idea. There's no fee to sign up. You don't even need to buy anything. Just follow our page on Facebook to get a laugh every morning. Weirdgiftoftheday.com If you do like an item, you can easily buy it right from the Facebook page. We have a link going right to that page at weirdgiftoftheday.com That's weirdgiftoftheday.com. Sunny 93.3, time now for Water Cooler Talk, brought to you by Aqua One. Oh, the dark, seedy underbelly of Sioux Falls. It's when, when you get the finger on the pulse, when you have oh, your yeah. ear to the ground, as do I. Yeah. It's like, Ferris, you're wearing a wire? Yes, I am! <laughs> Dan knows what's happening in this town. Well, this hits close to home to me because it was mid-90s. I want to say 96. I think I actually got the petition done. I ran for Sioux Falls School Board. Yeah, I remember I that. did. And by run, I mean I hung out at Skelly's and drank beer. <laughs> Wow. Did you win? I did not. <laughs> oh, I, did. No. I got 6,300 votes just for virtually doing nothing. I went to, I went to a couple of... Uh, Debates? Yeah, where they ask Forms? questions. There's a bunch of people out in the audience, stuff like that. And yeah. I may have gone off the rails because I... And I, you know, I guess I don't know if it's still true or not because my children have been out of school for a while. Uh, but mandatory Spanish language, I think yeah. that's in grade school in this Could town. Be. Where the kids learn Spanish. Uh, middle school, so. I think, is when my okay. daughter had to take well, it. Well, they were talking about that, and I believe they were starting that in either fourth or fifth grade, and the debate is, should they drop that down a grade and start them earlier? Yeah. And when they got to me with that question, I said, I would take the monies and the effort used in teaching Spanish to, let me think, teaching the kids English. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's just do that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think three people went, oh. <laughs> and the rest of them went, I don't believe he's being politically correct. <laughs> so, no, he's just being honest. <laughs> so his name was on the ballot. He still didn't win. But there are three school board candidates this time around. Oh. And the election is coming up in a couple weeks here, right here is in it? Sioux Falls. Yes. How have, I haven't even seen that anywhere. Not a lot. On the front page, ripped from the pages of the Argus Leader that someone keeps just letting me take out of the foyer here in the, <laughs> the building. We're in three of the four Sioux Falls school board candidates. Could be facing civil penalty penalties and investigation by a state's attorney what? if they don't turn in their darn pre-election campaign finance to closure reports well, yeah. by next week. That's all there is. There are three of them that haven't turned it in yet. So I wonder why. They just haven't gotten around to it, you well, think? Well, it's or? one of those things where they probably aren't thinking about it, and it isn't exactly a huge funded race. You know, you get a couple yeah. hundred bucks and maybe print a sticker or a T-shirt or something. Yeah. There isn't really a lot involved. And all three of them had said, this ain't no big deal here. This is yeah. this is it. it. Whatever they did with the budget, uh, can you say the names of the three that are running? Or is that Are we allowed to do that, do you think? Why, sure. So I'm just wondering if I've ever even heard of them. Cause I, Incumbent, that means she's already on the school board, Carly Reiter. Okay. Or reader, one of the other challengers of Sarah Anderson. And you know her, you love her, Laura Hubble. Oh, <laughs> you know yeah, her, you I love her. her. You know her, you so love her. I wonder her. what they're doing to let people know about that. I didn't, honestly, I'm not even kidding. No. I didn't even know until you just said this. I didn't even know there was a school board race coming up. Well, out. I knew this because my finger is on the pulse of the, of the dark, seedy underbelly of everything in Super. sure Falls. that newspaper's not an old newspaper? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, this, is, this is the Rapid City Journal. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Turn it. <laughs> it is a current paper? Okay. <laughs> so all kinds of things are going on. And the Argus Leader, with these people, they're actually now demanding uh, 10 years of tax returns, 20 years of financials. <laughs> no, they're they're going to hold them in contempt, and they want to impeach the one incumbent. So <laughs> and they're going to let you put your name on a ballot. We'll see what happens there. Thanks for that awesome report. This is... 
Water Cooler Talk, brought to you by Aqua One. As we get to wedding season, many events will involve alcohol. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. Call now to learn more at 1-800-290-0759 or get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Sunny 93.3, time now for entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Because celebrities are... Fabulous. Who doesn't track the royal family, right? Yeah. It's a big deal. A and this was like the biggest deal in the history of the royal family since they lost their entire empire. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go there, royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and I'm sure you've heard, have not only had their first child, but have finally named yeah. the spankin' little Archie. fella. Named him Archie. Yes. Archie. And what we love to do here in Sioux Falls, if you watch local media, they always love to make kind of a local tie-in with things that are happening nationally oh, yeah. if they're they're a big deal. And I think this is pretty cool because I've known Arch Beal for a long time. Yeah. And uh, the baby actually is named after Arch Beal of Beal Distributing. I didn't know that. Oh, that's and, super. Uh, yeah. And Arch, of course, a representative, District 14, South Dakota House of Representatives. Great guy. And yeah. uh, Arch has sent the child a mega cap and a 12-pack of Bud Light to, nice. to christen I, the whole thing. Every child needs exactly that. That's <laughs> well, fantastic. To it. Yeah, because uh, Arch used to hunt with the royal family. Back did he really? Then. See? You, you bet he did. I don't believe any of things. You know, Dan, I... Uh, Everything you say now is just suspect. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to get us some Budweiser ad dollars. Just stick oh. with me here. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a lovely gift. I would have loved that yeah. gift. Arch, yeah. who doesn't love you? <laughs> <laughs> and, and you've got my cell number, Arch. When you're, back, a- when you're back from Pierre, give me a jingle. There you go. Uh, speaking of the royal family, and I don't usually have stories about the royal family because I don't care, but there was a big deal on social media yesterday or two days ago. Mm-hmm. A picture of uh, Megan. Yeah, Megan had Markle. The baby, and right. she was wearing a white outfit. Yes, yes. People were freaking out about that. They're like, she's right. had a baby three days ago, and she's out in a white outfit? I'm like, is that a rule or something? I don't know. Well, I, don't I, I try not to wear, like, white white slacks after Labor Day. Yeah, I don't know. What's that got to do with anything? I don't know. There were ladies going, I would have never even attempted to do that. And I don't know. Is that because I of would a- love to see you in a pair of white slacks. <laughs> yeah. Oh. care what time of year. You've got it. <laughs> See, I've got an ongoing deal with with Eileen Donnelly over at Southeast Hair Design and Spa. We've been going back and forth with this white pants thing after Labor Day for years. Uh. And I'm going to get me a, a white patent leather belt with a big buckle, white patent leather shoes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I need to see this. No, yeah, I'm going to be styling and profiling. So, yeah, again, congratulations to uh, the Duke and Duchess. I offhand don't really know their names, but congratulations. And, uh, and so are their kids going to be princes? I don't know. I don't know or is how it works. only the firstborn well, who this, is? Well, this son, uh, Archie Beal Jr., <laughs> is either seventh or eighth in line for uh, for being like uh, the Grand Pooba. The king or queen or whatever? King, yes. King. It would be king, yes. <laughs> well, you never know. Let the child choose, Dan. <laughs> exactly. There are now 67 genders known to mankind. <laughs> so so there, he's eighth in line? Yes, yeah. So, what kind of catastrophe would have to happen before well, he would, would have become to be king? A major bloodshed for him to. <laughs> or some people don't want the job. They just step down or like, yeah, I'm not interested. King Turn it down. Archie? King Archie. That doesn't sound very. I that love cool. that. I do too. That's kind of neat. It sounds like a comic book to me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you for that entertainment news, Dan. Just doing my job, John. You're I welcome. appreciate it a bunch, Dan Ferris, with our entertainment news of the day on Sunny ninety three point three. Hey, it's T-Shirt Weather. Be sure to show your fun side with a funny T-Shirt from FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. We have several funny shirt designs that will make you look cool while you stay cool. Do you have an idea for your own shirt designs? We can help you make it a reality at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Find thousands of T-Shirt designs from people just like you and add your own designs, too, at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. That's FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. 